high. As I thought about where to do my devotional for Thanksgiving, no particular place around town struck me. I even asked some people at MCA who have been following these de devotionals what location they might suggest, and uh, there really wasn't many suggestions there either. So I decided I would do it in a place I'm thankful for. So here I am in my own home, which I love, and in my own comfy chair, which was a gift to me this year, and for which I am so grateful. But what to say for this devotional did not come right, might come right to mind for me either. Again, I had to look for suggestions. So I looked online to see what David Barton, a highly respected American historian, had to say about the very first Thanksgiving. And although it was interesting to read some about that, what ended up coming to my thoughts and guiding my thoughts were some things he said about some other American Thanksgivings, not the first one. This year, for example, this year in 2020, uh, Thanksgiving is on November 26th. So was the first Thanksgiving that was celebrated when America was a nation. And that was uh, when our first president, George Washington, he appointed November 26th, 1789, as a day of, he said, sincere and humble thanks to God for his kind care and protection. So I am encouraged and encourage you to follow George's advice this November 26th by giving sincere and humble thanks to God for his kind care and protection. Although presidents along the way sometimes designated a day of thanks, it wasn't until let's see what year, 1863, that Thanksgiving became an annual national holiday. And that year, like this year, Thanksgiving was on November 26th. Our president then was Abraham Lincoln. And what was unique about his proclamation of Thanksgiving is that it was made in the middle of the Civil War when the Union had had few victories and things looked very bleak for our young country, even to remain a country. In spite of that, Lincoln's declaration was optimistic in tone, reminding us that we can get so used to God's blessings that he said, quote, we are prone to forget the source. And so he declared that we should set apart and observe the last Thursday of November as a day of thanksgiving and praise to our beneficent Father who dwells in heaven. We are now in the middle of a time that looks rather bleak for our country. So let us then follow Abe's advice this November 26th, giving God our Father thanksgiving and praise. Thanksgiving was an annual American holiday after that, although the day varied from president to president. It wasn't until 1941 that Thanksgiving was declared by law to be celebrated on the fourth Thursday of November. That bill was signed into law by Franklin Roosevelt on, you guessed it, November 6th, I mean November 26th, 1941. Frank's Thanksgiving proclamation that year advised, quote, let us reflect in our, at our homes or places of worship on the goodness of God. We can do that in our homes this November 26th. Let's reflect on the goodness of God. Of God. As Americans, we may look to follow the advice of George, Abe, and Frank, but as Christians, it's most important that we look to the Lord and follow the advice and commands He gives us in His Word. Would you believe that the first psalm that the word thanksgiving is in is Psalm, yes, Psalm 26. The first is the first one. In the end of verse 6 and verse 7, and in all of verse 7, David, inspired by the Holy Spirit, writes this, I come to your altar, O Lord, singing a song of thanksgiving and telling of all your wonders. David is an example we should follow. Come to the Lord, singing a song of thanksgiving and telling of all his wonders. Let's do that. I'm going to close this Thanksgiving devotional with the song of Thanksgiving that my family usually sings together around the table as we start our Thanksgiving dinner. It's called the doxology. 
and I hope you spend at least some of your November 26th singing a song of thanksgiving too. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise Him, all creatures here below. Praise Him above, ye heavenly host. Praise Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Amen. Happy Thanksgiving.